ended up in Punjab Book Center, which had a collection of uh, these books that were available. And I think I somehow landed on the Communist Manifesto. But when I landed on the Communist Manifesto, there was also a someone. Now, Chandigarh did not have political movement, except for the fact that I grew up during militants. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there was violence. The thing that I'm telling you is growing up militants. Now, you know, paramilitary was deployed for the first time in internal security. And these paramilitary guys, they had no understanding of how to deal with culture. You remember Tamas serial came uh, in those days? Yes. Shivavar Mohe, Shubh Karmante, Kabhuna Tarum. You know, Jo Lare Deen Ke Het Sura Sohi. You know, all these Guru Gobind poetry. You used to play those, you know, that music at the loudest possible, you know, decibel dance and cry because it was such a it was it was the first interaction with violence uh, we used to hit these crpf guys with hockeys because we wanted to get back at them that was that was our angst mm. and at home my father when you know this suddenly kps gail and ribeiro came and they were, you know, killing militants. My father was like, yes, this is the way. Because my father had fought in the 60s, the Naga insult. See, if you ask my wife, and if, you know, if I claim here that I, you know, in, in front of Rajni Bhakti, that, you know, I'm an epitome of Ahinsa, you know, I'll be kicked. I'll be kicked for life. See, I have, I have intellectually, emotionally, try, intellectually made an effort Emotionally, I'm trying to wear that cloak. Have I succeeded? No. Because my deep, you know, DNA, you know, my core is that survivor, that reptilian. Now what happens is that fundamentally as a, as, as a society, as a human form, we are all works in progress. So there is a shift that is happening. You know, we should have evolved into more easy people because we were fundamentally easy people. But there's a certain tightness, there is a certain anger, there is a certain looking over each other's shoulders uh, that is beginning to happen in our collective, you know, nationhood and identities. And uh, so there's a, so there is that, that something which, causes an irritation today, which yeah. didn't exist. And we transcended the violences very easily. So we created this space where the rewiring of the mind happened the first semester. And Gandhi Baba did not work with theory that was taught in a social work school. Gandhi Baba said, you know, karke dekhte hain, shayad fail honge, maybe we will succeed. Because he's not, he's never exposed you know, finding of truth. His life is a, I mean, for me, Gandhi fellowship program named after Baba Gandhi is because it's a journey. It's a lifetime of experiments with the journey of truth seeking, the imagination of an Indian secularism. And I have a feeling that he was killed because of that. Because he was trying to create not See, my secularism comes from atheism. I was first trained in atheism and then I became secular. But Indian secular... So the Western secularism needed to be contextualized in the Indian tradition. And I think Gandhi Ji was the best epitome of that where deeply seeped in his own Hinduism, he sought the other, he recognized the other, he participated, participated in the other's practice and their aesthetic. Now the problem is that at project, because of his assassination, did not reach fruition. So my thing, my point is that ahimsa is a is a aesthetic. It's a it's a quest. It's a journey. It's not a playbook. So, jo Dalai Lama bolte hai na, compassion, creating compassion over two generations will make fundamentally heal society. So, the pedagogy of compassion, 
uh, if it, his theory of change is very interesting. He says for two to three generations, train young people in compassionate processes. And society will heal and transform. 